because you start with multiple streams of income by starting one stream of income and getting really good at that. And then your eyes are like completely opened. You don't have multiple income streams if all of those income streams are tied to one account or one stream of income. Even if you're an affiliate for multiple different things, if they all kind of tie into the same niche and you have that same like group of customers or potential customers, you don't have multiple streams of income. And I have learned this the hard way as TikTok has like really glitched on my account. I think a lot of people's accounts, but like, you know, I get like 60 views for like a whole week. And then I would go like a couple weeks and I'd get like just 200 views. Where like my baseline, like TikTok jail view would be like 400 views, 400 to 500 views. But ever since this past two months and this weird thing that's happened with the algorithm, with the government, with just my account in general, and I realized how I don't actually have as many income streams as I thought because they're all kind of tied to this one digital marketing account. Even though I have started slowly in the past, like growing YouTube, growing Pinterest, like, you know, I've done Amazon Influencer for a little bit and started doing reviews. If all the way that I get traffic is through this TikTok, 90% of my traffic is through this TikTok, then if TikTok starts glitching, then I have a very faulty business. And I knew that, you know, I knew that conceptually, but I just don't have the time to start like really digging into all these different platforms. But this two months that has just passed, I have really been like, no, that's, that needs to be prioritized. You know, I went on and I created another TikTok. So for just TikTok shop, when I found out there was a thousand followers that were required and I grew it to a thousand followers in five days, but then they took that away and made it 5,000 followers again. And I got really mad, but we're still going after it. Right. Um, and then, you know, I'm really honing in on Amazon reviews and I'm really starting to build my YouTube channel and I'm really starting to build my Pinterest. But like I was reluctant to do those things because I was like, gosh, it takes so much work to grow a brand from the ground up. And I know that now and that's why I didn't want to do it. I kept pushing it off and pushing it off. So sometimes these things like glitches and these things where you have low sale months in your business, they're really good for you because they are really pushing me out of my comfort zone and making me focus on other things. Don't let this overwhelm you. You should always have the goal of creating more streams of income but as a complete beginner, choose one. Digital marketing gave me so many skills to see what was out there so that I could learn how to monetize in different ways. I highly suggest starting with that.